the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. <laughs> This is Akin AK Jackie the Truth. I mean, we stay ready. You know. <laughs> Jerome Campbell, how you doing? Yes, yes, now, 5 and 0. 5 and 0. First six rounder, how did that feel, brother? Um, to be honest, fitness wise and getting the miles out of the way, easy work. Really? Um, ooh, some tasty fight must be getting right now. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to disrupt our interview. What are you thinking, guy? Um, yeah, so six rounds. Like I've been saying, I'm sticking to the basics. Skills will pay the bills. Smarts wins fights. So, I had a strong, I had a strong opponent who's had 80 odd fights, same age as me, physically strong. So I'm gonna go in there and try and try and tear it up and bully him. I'm gonna stick to the boxing, everything behind the jab. First couple rounds, because I got six in my head, I know I got rounds to, to, to break him down. So we, we just jump to the body, straight shots to the body, tap tap to the head, boom, sit down. So now he thinks the shots are coming downstairs every time I dip. So when I dip in the third and fourth round, I start coming out of the hook. Spoke to him after and he said he didn't know what shot was coming next. Yeah, so he yeah. just started throwing wild shots. And obviously, credit to him, like he's strong, so he's throwing his wild shots, but I'm catching everything. You can see I'm not touched, I'm not hurt, very elusive. Always keep whatever I'm slipping, as I've learned in the pro, always keep your eyes on him. So I'm slipping, I'm catching, I'm keeping my eyes on him. And really and truly it's just that easy work, man. I wanted to get this fight out of the way because a lot of turmoil in this camp, so I knew that um, things have been going on in the back, and I just wanted to get this fight out of the way and just do what I need to do to win and now we can start building up and I'm working on, on progressing throughout this year. Yeah. yeah man, it's, it's my first time at the York Hall. It's also my first time seeing you fight. My observations, first of all, of York Hall, it was very cumbersome. Yeah, it was yeah, very, yeah. it was very, until you came out and you got the place jumping, Listen, man. the place is lively. You obviously have a following and through every round, there were people on the balcony shouting, yeah, stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. You have a I following. Love him. I love him. How does that feel? To, to... The thing, yeah, I, I, as I said, I don't do crazy numbers in, in tickets, I'll be honest. But I have no sponsors, so the people that do buy tickets are real people. Like I said before in my last interview, they're real people and they're, they're real people that care for me. They come out to support me. And like I said, the type of character that I am, they're screaming for me. They're, they're showing real love. And I think. In, in this boxing thing, in this pro thing as well, for any young amateurs who are looking to do this uh, journey in, in the pros, if you haven't got um, international Olympic pedigree, you need to have strong foundations with family and friends around you and people that are going to support you. And that's something that I'm fortunate to have, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have no sports and I don't have that type of side, but I have a strong foundation for what I am. So no, no matter what happens with me, I always have that to fall back on, you know what I'm saying? Another observation I made is that despite all the hype, everything around you and everything that you were facing in the ring, you kept your head about you. I could see that you were thinking in there. I saw you were going to the body early. He, he was acting like the body shots weren't hurting. You know, man. But you didn't deviate from the plan. You st stayed on it. How plan. important is it not to lose your head amongst all Stick that hype? Stick to the plan, baby. You know, <laughs> that's what they're for. Smarts wins fights, man. And it's something that I had to learn myself. Um, I've got... I grew up with ADHD, so my, my, my concentration, my attention span is very, 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 very small and it's short. So everything we're doing in the gym, we, we have to work 10 times harder to make sure that it's drilled in, to make sure that, you see my hands here all the time, my hands here all the time. When I'm jabbing, I'm going downstairs, I'm disciplined. And these are things that you need in a pro. So in the first round, I didn't throw no right hands. And that's because I'm showing my, my team that I can stick to a plan. Uh -huh. And that's something that in my first couple fights, I got carried away with the crowd, like you said, the crowd shouting. York was very, very, uh, the atmosphere was very tight, it was very close. So there's a big feel when the crowd are shouting, you can feel it. So for you to stay disciplined, concentrating, and not, and not rise to the crowd, and like you said, stick to the plan, that's the difference between a good boxer and a great boxer. You know what I'm saying? And that's the direction that I'm heading, I'm trying to be elite. So I don't, I don't need to go out here and knock these people out. I'm just bo I'm boxing and I'm making it look easy. You know what I'm saying? If the opportunity presents itself, I try to open them up a few times, you see, 
I tried to touch him and come down and then come up with the other shots because he's expecting a, the body shot jab. But unfortunately, well for me, unfortunately for him, unfortunately for me, he didn't want to come off. But he just stepped to the basics, you feel me? Here we are. Here he is. He's a man himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's next for you? What's next for you? Um, so, uh, I'm going to take a week off. Just chill out, um, spend some time with my family and friends. Um, I'm gonna go back tonight and just chill out. Tomorrow, I'm gonna talk with my coaches and, and discuss what's happened. Um, my coach really said to me, oh, I'm, ha I'm happy you stuck to the plan that we made. We came with a plan, I stuck to it, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, in terms of boxing in general, I wanna have four more fights this year, uh, one more six or eight, and then I wanna start doing 10 rounders and, and going for a title contention. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I think at my age, I'm, if I need to take risky fights, it's something that I'm willing to do because I know skills, will pay the bills, and I'm the red man, and I'm ready to do. So I'm putting it out there, you feel me? So I'm just ready to tax the boxers, man. You know what I'm saying? Show, show them what Stay Ready's made of. Jerome, stay ready, Campbell. You feel me? <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. Nah, Is there anything else you have to say? Always a pleasure. Big up the boxing boys from the UK, London, Northwest. You know, stay ready. Big up, man. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.